I got into lifting solely because of calisthenics. Calisthenics being a sport where you do pretty much only body weight movements, but of course there's also weighted calisthenics, which combines weights and calisthenics together. But calisthenics was my starting point. And I remember in my early days, I'd watch a lot of Phoenix, which was a YouTube channel focused focused primarily on calisthenics, but they've changed a bit. During the early days, you know, I was a beginner and I was very easily ma malleable, you know, 16 year old me, you know, following what everyone else does. And so I got the free app and I used their workouts for probably a year. And pretty much all of their workouts were like interval training style. And so this was sort of my first introduction to interval training. Honestly speaking, Phoenix doesn't really make that many videos about calisthenics anymore. It's more so just a burn fat at home channel now. Or so, like, I, at least from the past videos I've seen, it's like pretty much all do this to burn fat. It's kind of sad, in a way. Started to stop trusting Phoenix, particularly because of some issues that the crew had. And if I, I didn't really trust, I didn't really trust the head of Phoenix. And so I started, I stopped using their app and their workouts. And then I sort of pursued my own. And then I once again got into interval training from Athlete X, you know, biggest fitness YouTuber. Markets to the markets to normies, markets to beginners. And if you're anything but that, just stay away. It's, the, the advice he gives makes you stay trapped as a beginner. So, but anyway, I use a template of his and I put in my own exercises and I believe the intervals were like 40 seconds on of the exercise and then 20 seconds off for rest. How the workouts were is that during those 40 seconds you would need to do as many reps of the exercise as possible. Fairly simple. And so I trained this way for like a couple of months and I didn't really see much progress. And there are many reasons for this. One of which is the structure of the workout. You know, like the system is set up so that you are focusing solely on the number of reps you're getting within that 40 second time frame. Right? It's get as many reps as you possibly can. But it doesn't emphasize the quality of the reps. Right? It's so easy to lose sight of the quality when you're just trying to grind out all the push-ups, you know, grind out all the pull-ups. It's so easy, and which is probably why I didn't progress, because I focused on the numbers. I chased the numbers. I didn't chase the quality of the reps. And another is that this training style emphasizes the cardiovascular system way more than your muscles. It's interval training. You aren't going to get muscular growth. The 40 seconds on, that correlates with how much time under tension you need for a muscle to like grow, to experience hypertrophy. But then you only get like 20 seconds of rest before you go into the next exercise. You don't get to recover. Sure, they might work different muscle groups, but the style is still mainly cardio. It's still basically cardio. So don't make this mistake. Don't trust that interval training will you know, get you abs, get you really muscular, get you really lean, get you toned, because it won't work. Instead, strength and resistance training with progressive overload gets you your muscles, gets you your gains. And it's boring as fuck. It's really boring, but it works. It works better than any other method. These shiny and intense workouts like, you know, do all these exercises for this many cycles and blah, 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 blah. You know, they're really shiny, but they don't work. And the thing is, that makes them so much worse because <clears throat> you put in loads of effort hoping that you do this workout, you know, to get a bigger chest, you know, but like it doesn't work because interval training does not do that. It's cardio. You want a bigger chest, go to the gym, use weights, use progressive overload. Two weeks, you have a bigger chest if you're a beginner. I spent years and months stuck with interval training because I thought that it was the best method to gain muscle. And oh boy, was I wrong. And I was not progressing. I was not really getting stronger either. So don't make this mistake. 
Start off with resistance training. Use progressive overload. And rest in between your sets. You know, take the time to let your body recover. Take the time take the time to let your body clear out waste products so that you can do another set and still be able to push it.